Hello, my Leos. I hope you're doing well. This is going to be a reading. A fun reading is going to be a Christmas reading. Uh, I don't know if anybody's in the holiday spirit or whatever, if you celebrate, whatever holiday you celebrate, because we have so many different people who watch. Um, I'm not really in the biggest festive mood, but I hope that you all are. Um, I'm just looking forward to the new year, but let's go ahead and see what your holiday is going to be like. Um, and also we're going to look at your holiday a year from now. So we're going to see what is your holiday going to be like this year? And then we're going to see what is it going to be like, um, next year. I may extend this reading. I don't know. It just depends on if I feel drawn to extending it. All right. So let's see. All right, let's see what's going on for Leo. What are you going to be experiencing this Christmas? All right, I just started hearing the song by... Um, and this Christmas will be a very special Christmas. But I'm hearing like the um, Chris Brown, Chris Brown's version. I think that song's been sung by different people. Don't get me lying. Don't get me lying. Don't jump on me in the comments. Christmas songs are so sheesh. All right, so we have they are using you and we have routine. Some of you may be working on Christmas, okay? Some of you may be working on Christmas. You may be working on things that you need to get done. Um, some of you may be having car trouble. So I don't know what they're, they, they are using you. Um, some of you are feeling like how I'm feeling, like not in the Christmas spirit, not feeling as generous. You guys are not feeling as generous. You feel like people are taking advantage of you in some way. Um, and like I said, this could even be you have to work or maybe you feel like you have to cook clean. You have to do some sort of duty on Christmas. You feel like Christmas is more of a duty to you this year. It doesn't look like um, you're like relaxing. And I mean, Leos are usually great cooks. Um, not saying all Leos, but majority of the Leos I know can cook. Um, and so you guys may be the designated dinner maker. <laughs> that sounds terrible, but that's the energy of that I'm getting. Like you guys are going to be doing something of service. Okay. This card's not supposed to be in here. Wow. King of wands. We'll take it. That's, that's a sign. This card's not supposed to be in here. Um, diff, totally different deck. Okay. So you guys are leading the household in some way. Um, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Some of your partner could be a fire sign or a Virgo. Okay, but you feel like you're not relaxing this year. Okay, in some way, shape, or form, even if it's like you doing most of the driving to wherever you're going. Yeah, the King of Swords. You're not feeling as it, like even if you're in the holiday spirit, I just don't feel like it. Like you're feeling like more. I got things to do. Some of you may be working. Like I said, like if especially if you're an entrepreneur, I feel like maybe some of you are not visiting family or you're not seeing your family. You're doing something that you feel like needs to get done. Like you're, yeah, it's Christmas, but I can actually get a lot done because I'm not going to be as distracted. So I'm going to use this time to dedicate it to work or something like that. Okay. So I have to say these are not super cheerful cards so far. Yeah. Listen, I'm not, I don't fake the funk. Y'all know me. I read what I see the five of cups. Y'all are, I, to me, I don't feel like you two, you guys are as happy and I almost said you too, so you and someone that you're dealing with, okay? Some of you could be upset that you're not spending the holiday with a specific person. Um, this person could be, like I said, a fire sign or a Virgo. I'm also picking up on Capricorn. Could also be a uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I do, I do also want to point out that for some of you, it's another person who's working on Christmas. And they're hoping that, they're wishing that they were with you. So some of you, there could be somebody who's wishing that they were with you for the holidays. Um, if you are in no contact with someone and this person has like a, like access to your social media, they're going to be checking up to see what you do for Christmas. Like they're going to be trying to see like what you do for Christmas. Like, um, what do you post? So this person may feel like you're a great cook and you know, they're excited to see what you whip up for Christmas. But of course, with them being a king of swords, they may not tell you these things. You would probably never know this. Okay. King of swords is my surveillance king. Y'all know who he and if you guys hear anybody call him the surveillance king, it's because they either learn tarot from me or they watch me, okay? Period. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's cool. Yeah, I told you. Somebody's wanting to come back into your life. I'm going to turn that over because they try to ding me for the judgment card, which is crazy. It doesn't look super pornographic to me, but I should probably even said that word because, yeah, you know how sensitive YouTube is nowadays. So, um, yeah, no um we're not going to show that but this is someone i feel who wishes that they could like reach out or connect with you for christmas okay nine of wands i really feel you're not in the mood this christmas like 
you wish things were different. I just see that there's a perspective that you just wish you were experiencing right now. Like you wish that things were different in your life. You feel tired. A lot of you just kind of would rather sleep. We have the Hierophant, Obligation, Duty. Yeah, some of you are working on Christmas, straight up. Especially if you work like a government job or something. The Wheel of Fortune. Let's get one more card. We have the, listen. I'm not going to keep saying some of y'all are working. Who's working? Somebody comment and let me know if y'all get in them Christmas hours, okay? Um, but I again, I'm heavily picking up. If you're not working, I'm heavily picking up that you are on someone's mind while they're working. Like I, someone is choosing to work this Christmas or they they have to work this Christmas because even the Hierophant is here and it's like obligation. And this person is saying they would rather be with you. Like they would rather be... Um, connecting with you right now the six of cups some of you are have already spent a holiday with this person at some point that'll narrow it down for some of you like maybe they have a fond memory of it like i said it feels like an earth sign for some of you because this is just working energy but it could be somebody who spent a holiday with you and they're reminiscing about that and like they're regretting not having that like they feel like they should be with you for christmas like they feel like the experience that they have with you over that holiday or whatever time that you guys experience should be a regular part of their Christmas routine. So some of you, they feel obligated to see their family because the Hierophant is here. So for some of you, maybe it's like their family doesn't approve of you because I do feel with the Hierophant, there could be a cultural background. So maybe this person can't bring you around their family or they, they feel some type of way. I don't know. I don't feel like that's the biggest issue. The biggest thing I feel for a lot of you is there's a no contact situation here. This person is either choosing to work with the King of Swords. They definitely could have chose to work. They could be in some bah humbug energy. And for some of you, maybe that's why you're picking up that energy. Maybe you're very, you're very close to this person energetically or you have like a spiritual bond and you could be picking up on their energy like of not being happy um but yeah some of you this person if this could be a third party situation maybe they're married they're in a in, they're in a relationship where they feel that they're just like a cash cow like they just buy gifts and they just work and nobody appreciates them because that you know that carve is here that saying that this person somebody's using you okay um, but for those that the storyline is like you're not connected to someone, maybe you thought that they were using you, you felt like they were using you, you disconnected from this person, they're thinking about you while they're working a lot. Um, I'm also picking up with the Wheel of Fortune, the Judgment card. This person that I'm picking up on feels like it's only a matter of time before you two reconnect. The Judgment and the Wheel of Fortune, they feel, and maybe it's even true, that you two will somehow or another run into each other or reconnect at some point because you have the Six of Cups. So this person could believe that you two are soulmates and that you two reconnect many times. Like this is someone who feels like you guys just have ebbs and flows of your relationship. Or maybe they're just hoping that. Maybe they're being optimistic. The Five of Cups, even though it does look like a depressing card, it's actually a very optimistic card because the Two of Cups is here. So this person still feels like there's hope for this relationship. Um, for some reason, they feel like this isn't the right time to reconnect with you because I mean, right now, I don't really see them reconnecting with you. Not on Christmas. I feel like they're going to be working. Um... So it, it's either you or this person. So I have to say that this is not going to be like, does it get better? Like, does your Christmas, this Christmas get better at all? Like, are you going to experience any positive shifts this, this specific Christmas? Okay. Some of you, you're in a partnership with somebody, but you feel detached, like cold, different bedrooms, different sides of the bed. Okay. So it could be, I'm getting different situations here. The page one so it does look like it gets better some of you your children like if you have children you're gonna find a lot of happiness through them yeah or like younger especially like younger children or um like your younger siblings younger cousins like some of you being around family children may be like a big highlight or just having fun some of you may like do something different um i know like when my dad was alive we used to go like find pine cones and then we would decorate them you know so there's there's ways that you can create adventure some of you might get laid i don't know why i'm getting that it could be a sneaky link situation yeah keep getting this see you see how listen let me show y'all queen of swords queen of wands and then the king of swords and the king of wands so some of y'all are married and the person you really want is also married too, but you're, you guys aren't together. I don't know. I'm getting that. Some of you are in a relationship. Maybe some of you are like this. It's like this. Y'all feel like y'all with the wrong person. I don't know. Some of you. But I don't know. I, I'm definitely getting like there could be married couples. And I think I talked about this in one of the readings like that that show where... I don't know if it, it's not the Today Show, right? But it's like where these two anchors, they were having an affair... And they got fired and now their spouses are dating, right? You guys would get what I'm saying? It's one 
anyway anyway y'all if y'all know what i'm talking about that one lady i can't think of their names but they got fired because they were having an affair and then whole time now they they i believe i heard that their spouses are together i don't know if it's true but yeah it's giving that type of wife swap hub swap a whole couple swap i don't know what the hell's going on that's not gonna be for everybody but i do find it interesting that um these came out these two suits came out so um some of you may feel like you're with the wrong person just say that we'll just we'll just leave it there okay and he wasn't even supposed to be in in this deck all right so we're gonna go ahead and see what's happening for uh next christmas because this christmas looks a little like how 2023 looked okay and i don't see the new year until february so i'm not surprised about this i didn't expect to see many shifts and even the six month reading that we did See this iPad. The only thing about recording on this iPad is like it's so zoomed in and like I can't even zoom it out unless I, I mean, unless probably if I turn it horizontally, but whatever. We're going to make it work. If you guys know how to, for me to pan out of on this iPad, like email me and let me know. Okay. Because my phone, the, the audio is messed up. So I've been using this iPad. All right. So we're going to make some room here and then we're going to get into... Christmas of 2024 and let's see how that goes make sure you guys like this uh video I forgot to say that in the beginning oh yeah I am going to be going live today I don't know if I'm going to do it today um I might have to do it later on today I'm going to do uh live uh love readings okay uh free love readings because you guys got a thousand likes and a hundred comments on the last video you guys exceeded that so we're definitely going to be doing some free love readings so just um subscribe and turn your notification bell on so you don't miss it okay um and just pay attention to when i go live because sometimes it'll notify you sometimes it doesn't let me get one card spear for december of 2024 that christmas what's going to change for leo a year from now this will probably give you guys some hope because i feel like it's going to be positive but that's just me being optimistic which i'm normally not um so that's a good sign um yeah, I think this is going to give you guys some hope. Yeah, definitely. I'm definitely feeling like it's positive. Jupiter, abundance. Yeah, you're going to feel like you got your life force back. They've tried to ding me for this card before too. So let me cover that up. Um, some of you are going to feel like you're in your power. Like you, some of you are going to have manifested a whole new life for yourself, especially for those who do spiritual work. Um, I definitely see your spiritual power increasing. Okay. You're going to be in top shape. I also feel some of your, your body's going to look good because this gives me like Lilith and Mars energy. And that's very strong energy. Like when you think about Lilith and Mars, you're thinking about like the Danishta Nakshita in Vedic astrology and the Danishta people are like Marilyn Monroe, um, Meg the Meg the Stein, I believe she's a Denisha son. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure she is. I have a Denisha moon. So these are like powerhouse people, like people who can control a room. They can influence people. They're very sexy, sex, sex symbols. I mean, a lot of people, a lot of sex symbols are born under the Denisha Nakshita. Um, so in Mars is exalted there. So it feels like you guys are going to be tapping into like this, this ability to get shit done. Like I feel like you guys have um definitely with the abundance card. You've raked in some sort of bag by next year. And it's through doing Leo type of things with the Queen of Wands. I felt the need to keep her out for some reason. Um, so some of you, something that you create is going to create a lot of abundance for you. So you're going to feel in the top of your game next year. You're going to feel like a Leo again. Okay. But it's like a Leo mixed with like Capricorn energy. So yeah. It's like Mars and Capricorn. If you guys ever look that up, Mars is exalted in Capricorn. Okay. So... Let's see. Some of you guys may be doing dancing or physical activity. Um, you're going to be a, in a lot better energy. December of 2024 for Christmas. Let's see. Yeah. So some of you, uh, your life is going to be different uh, in some way, shape or form. Some of you, like there may be an addition to the family. Like some of you may find out you're pregnant. Um, that's not going to be for everybody. But some of you, there could be a pregnancy um some of you may get proposed to on christmas okay somebody could be asking you to get married or giving you some like very expensive uh gift okay that changes your life in some way so for me this looks like an engagement if the page of pentacles wasn't there i wouldn't say that but the fool so this could even be like an investment into a business like somebody gives you some some money that changes your life i do feel that some of you will be in a relationship with someone who has money by this time and they'll have like the ability to spend money on you, like give you a bag. 
okay and the leos that i talked to you i know that that was gonna, is gonna resonate for y'all because y'all love y'all some money and i <laughs> y'all love when y'all y'all partner spoils you and you know there's nothing wrong with that so i know there's some leos that that's gonna resonate for that you're you're maybe trying to manifest someone who's financially secure um and they are definitely going to like spend money on you yeah see partnerships that just showed itself to me so can't they they've tried to dig me for everything so i've got to keep the channel super super pg okay um the knight of cups flew out the deck yeah some of you guys may be on vacation somewhere or you're gonna get a life-changing vacation gifted to you there's gonna be something gifted to you like it feels financial it's either financial or it's expensive i, I mean with the page of Pentacles, not only could it be an expensive thing but i'm also getting like it's something like some of you could it could be like a business investment like especially if you have a business right because again i said i feel like you guys are going to make money from something you create right so you could be getting uh some sort of support or like investment that increases your money okay um i feel like you're going to be generous but that's you know we don't need to say that you're all you're always generous so your children are definitely going to benefit from this money that you have coming in in 2024 your children are going to especially if you have like a daughter or daughters like an earth sign daughter or like a daughter who's very fun like superficial they like money they you know they like uh I don't know, fucking sugar factory or what the fuck they, what did, what did kids like, was it Lulu Melon or shit? I don't know what, what the kids, Starbucks, Starbies is what they call it. Listen, these young girls got they soft life already prepped for them. Okay. So for some of you as a teenager or like, you know, page of pentacles, it doesn't matter. I see your children are benefiting this, but it's definitely highlighting feminine children, but it doesn't mean it can't be either one. I'm just saying that you guys might have like, I'm just getting this superficial daughter with like a ponytail. Like, mom, can we go to sugar factory today? Like I'm getting that type of energy and it's like, girl, you just had Starbucks. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's given that sort of energy, um, but it's like, you don't mind it. You don't mind it. I feel like this child is excelling, so it's not like you're spoiling them. But me personally, I don't have a problem with spoiling my children. That's probably the bad thing, but they're good children, so they deserve it. They they have their issues like everyone else, but they're good children, okay? I get compliments on my children all the time. People ask me, like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, just being a mom, all right? So you have the magician and we have the strength card. So again, like big Leo energy. You're you're you guys seen the cards before. And if not, go back and look at the cards in the reading before I took them off, but you can see the literal difference. Like the king of swords, the five of cups, the hierophant, like boring ass shit. This is life. This is yellow. This is Leo energy. It's like Leo season during Capricorn season. And, you know, I don't believe Capricorn season's at the end of the year, but, you know, in Western astrology, it is. So this is like Leo's dominating the Capricorn season. Some of you may be dealing with a Capricorn because I'm definitely picking up on their energy, even with that Mars and Lilith energy, because Lilith is exalted in Capricorn. Um, so that's why I, that lunar exchange, I really pick up on Lilith energy. Um, and Lilith is like the high priestess. I'm not like if anybody's afraid of Lilith. I'm sorry. Like, I don't know why you're on my channel, but um i don't mean like the demonic form that they make lilith out to be i'm talking about like the high priestess the one who creates her reality the the priestess the healer that part of lilith um and then and you know the money part of it as well and like i said some of you there's going to be someone in your life who has a lot of power um they could be a creative themselves they could be someone that you meet through this creative venture that you make but they are going to be i feel some of you they're going to be proposing because i feel like this person's single and they want to get married or they want to have children we have the magician and the page of pentacles that's not gonna be for everybody right they could already have children of course they're your soulmate though with the magician card that's a, that's another way you can narrow them down uh the signs that i see are aquarius capricorn pisces scorpio aries virgo gemini ophucus sagittarius and leo those are the signs that th these people can be okay any of these signs so we also have pisces again at the bottom of the deck but this is stuff you already know the hangman tells me you already know this yeah the justice yep nine of cups pisces and listen look at the bottom of the deck i can't even show these i'm telling you some of y'all are gonna be in a relationship with somebody who hasn't listen look at y'all bottom of the deck y'all already know this is coming that's why y'all not happy with this christmas because you know that this christmas is like the last christmas that you're going to, well some of you intuitively know this you may not know this in your 3d and this is probably why you're not going to be feeling the best because you don't see it in your 3d which is understandable leos we like to see that shit like where is it at um but next year you're right if you have this feeling that things are going to get better by next year um yes and like i said some of you are going to be getting proposed to on christmas if you have an issue with that i mean you probably want to tell this person like hey i'm not into being proposed to on christmas because 
the page of pentacles and the knight of cups i say that in my tarot classes all the time to me that combo insinuates marriage um someone showing their feelings through something material like proposing or they could like i said buy you a va buy you expensive vacation invest in your business um very powerful person though very powerful person some of you gonna feel like this person tamed you a bit a little bit leo i know that might trigger you but the strength card is here so this is someone who's powerful enough to um stand next to you and not feel some way not in, not shrink themselves yep they helped you with self-sabotage this person's helped you they may be a little bit older than you but this person has helped you with self-sabotaging like they've also probably yeah this person has helped i'm telling you they've helped you with self-sabotaging doubting yourself um they've probably some of you this could be like a trainer or someone who helps you with your fitness because i feel like they've helped you get your body back they speak positive energy into you. This person's also manifesting you. They're looking for you or they're already manifesting you. This is not somebody who's going to run from the relationship because they, they know they manifested it. And again, nine of pentacles, ace of pentacles. Class, what is that to me? Proposal, getting married. That's the ten of pentacles. So like I said, if you're not married, good energy for engagement next year. Um, body's going to be right. Money's going to be way better. So I don't even need to say that you guys are going to be giving gifts. Obviously, you guys are going to be giving gifts, but you guys are going to be getting gifts from people. And they're substantial gifts. This is not like a bathrobe and some bath Remy Ma was on live today. She was like, I don't want any more bath bombs or robes. But this is like substantial gifts, expensive gifts, investments, being spoiled. So, yeah, it's what you deserve. So I definitely would say work on your receptive energy because some of you guys are in that king of swords and then that service energy where you feel like you have to still give to people. And it's like below, it's beneath you because you're showing up as the king of swords. So it's like you're doing all this service and you're doing all this for people and you're not getting um, what you deserve really from it. You're not getting paid enough or you're not getting enough compensation. I'm trying to see if this was, I was asking, I told you the Ten of Pentacles. I was asking if this is somebody you already knew. For some of you, it is somebody you're not talking to right now, but it, it could be different for everyone. I was going to ask if you already knew this person. The Five of Pentacles to me insinuates that you do, but you're not talking to this person some of you this person could be well known or famous so that might be why you know them it may not be someone that you know in your physical reality that like that but they may be someone you already know of so with that strength and that magician there this is definitely someone who is very leo-esque even if they're not a leo they have some sort of like leo type of energy to them okay so i hope that this helps i try to do a nice like juicy reading for you guys please comment um like in this and if you guys do that you know your thousand likes and a hundred comments we'll do another free love reading session I will try to do it today. Um, I'm not going to do it on Christmas, but if I can't do it today, I will do it on Tuesday. Okay, at the 26th, I'm not doing anything. But keep in mind, I am hosting Christmas. So if I can't make time today, it's because I'm doing what I said I was doing. What, what I said Leo's were doing. I'm cooking. <laughs> I'm in service role right now. All right. So I love you all. I will talk to y'all soon. Please let me know if this resonated. I really like this reading. I'm not going to extend it. It's, 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 this is the icing on the cake. It doesn't need an extension. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.